in the practical arts and the fine arts, bricolage is the construction or creation of a work from a diverse range of things that happen to be available, or a work created by such a process. The term bricolage has also been used in many other fields, including critical theory, education, computer software, and business. The arts, music, instrumental bricolage and music includes the use of found objects as instruments, such as, spoons, Australasian slap bass made from a tea chest, comb and wax paper for humming through, gum leaf humming, lagerphone, Trinidadian steel drums, African drums and thumb pianos made from recycled pots and pans. American super instruments made from recorders and bicycle bells or metal rods and keys. Stomp dancing is an example of the use of bricolage in music and dance, utilizing everyday objects, such as trash cans and broomsticks, to produce music. Many of the musical instruments created by American composer Harry Potch utilize unusual items, such as automotive hubcaps and Pyrex carboys. Stylistic bricolage is the inclusion of common musical devices with new uses. Shuka writes, punk best emphasize such stylistic bricolage. Musical bricolage flourishes in music of subcultures where, experimentation is part of daily life, access to resources is limited which limits commercial influence, and, there is a political or social drive to seek individuality, and like other bricolage fields, the intimate knowledge of resources is not necessary. Many punk musicians, for instance, are not musically trained, because they believe training can discourage creativity in preference for accuracy. Also, careful observation and listening is not necessary, it is common in spontaneous music to welcome errors and disharmony. Like other bricolage fields, bricolage music still values trust in one's ideas and self-correcting structures such as targeted audiences. Visual art, in art. Bricolage is a technique where works are constructed from various materials available or on hand, and is seen as a characteristic of many postmodern works. These materials may be mass-produced or junk. See also, myths, polystylism, collage, assemblage. Bricolage can also be applied to theatrical forms of improvisation, more commonly known as improv. The idea of using one's environment and materials which are at hand is the main goal in improv. The environment is the stage and the materials are often pantomimed. The use of the stage and the imaginary materials are all made up on the spot, so the materials which are at hand are actually things that the players know from past experiences. Bricolage is also applied in interior design, through blending styles and accessorizing spaces with what is on hand. Many designers use bricolage to come up with innovative and unique ideas. Architecture Bricolage is considered the jumbled effect produced by the close proximity of buildings from different periods and in different architectural styles. It is also a term that is admiringly applied to the architectural work of Le Corbusier, by Colin Rowe and Fred Coetta in their book Collage City, suggesting that he assembled ideas from found objects of the history of architecture. This in contrast to someone like Mies van der Rohe, whom they called a hedgehog, for being overly focused on a narrow concept. Academics, literature, in literature, bricolage is affected by intertextuality, the shaping of a text's meanings by reference to other texts. Cultural studies, in cultural studies bricolage is used to mean the processes by which people acquire objects from across social divisions to create new cultural identities. In particular, it is a feature of subcultures such as, for example, the punk movement. Here, objects that possess one meaning in the dominant culture are acquired and given a new, often subversive meaning. For example, the safety pin became a form of decoration in punk culture. Social psychology, the term psychological bricolage is used to explain the mental processes through which an individual develops novel solutions to problems by making use of using previously unrelated knowledge or ideas they already possess. The term, introduced by Jeffrey Sanchez Burks, Matthew J. Karlsky and Fiona Lee of the University of Michigan, draws from two separate disciplines. The first, a euro -OS social bricolage, a euro was introduced by cultural anthropologist Claude La Copyright Weistrauss in 1962. 
La Copyright by Strauss was interested in how societies create novel solutions by using resources that already exist in the collective social consciousness. The second, creative cognition, a euro is an intrapsychic approach to studying how individuals retrieve and recombine knowledge in new ways. Psychological bricolage, therefore, refers to the cognitive processes that enable individuals to retrieve and recombine previously unrelated knowledge they already possess. Psychological bricolage is an intra-individual process akin to Carl E. Weick a Euro unregistered trademark s notion of bricolage in organizations, which is akin to La Copyright by Strauss, notion of bricolage in societies. Philosophy, in his book The Savage Mind, French anthropologist Claude La Copyright by Strauss used bricolage to describe the characteristic patterns of mythological thought. In his description it is opposed to the engineer's creative thinking which proceeds from goals to means. Mythical thought, according to La Copyright by Strauss, attempts to reuse available materials in order to solve new problems. Jacques Derrida extends this notion to any discourse. If one calls bricolage the necessity of borrowing one's concept from the text of a heritage which is more or less coherent or ruined, it must be said that every discourse is bricolure. Gilles Deleuze and Far Copyright Lix Guattari, in their 1972 book Anti-Oedipus, identify bricolage as the characteristic mode of production of the schizophrenic producer. Education, in the discussion of constructionism, Seymour Papert discusses two styles of solving problems. Contrary to the analytical style of solving problems, he describes bricolage as a way to learn and solve problems by trying, testing, playing around. Joel Kinshello has used the term bricolage in educational research to denote the use of multiperspectival research methods. In Kinshello's conception of the research bricolage, diverse theoretical traditions are employed in a broader critical theoretical critical pedagogical context to lay the foundation for a transformative mode of multimethodological inquiry. Using these multiple frameworks and methodologies, Researchers are empowered to produce more rigorous and praxeological insights into socio-political and educational phenomena. Kinshello theorizes a critical multilogical epistemology and critical connected ontology to ground the research bricolage. These philosophical notions provide the research bricolage with a sophisticated understanding of the complexity of knowledge production and the interrelated complexity of both researcher positionality and phenomena in the world. Such complexity demands a more rigorous mode of research that is capable of dealing with the complications of socio-educational experience. Such a critical form of rigor avoids the reductionism of many monological, mimetic research orientations. Information technology, information systems, in information systems, bricolage is used by Claudio Cybora to describe the way in which strategic information systems can be built in order to maintain successful competitive advantage over a longer period of time than standard SIS. By valuing tinkering and allowing SIS to evolve from the bottom up, rather than implementing it from the top down, the firm will end up with something that is deeply rooted in the organizational culture that is specific to that firm and is much less easily imitated. There is also a content management system called Bricklage. Internet, in her book Life on the Screen, Sherry Turkle discusses the concept of Bricklage as it applies to problem solving and code projects and workspace productivity. She advocates the Bricola style of programming as a valid and under-examined alternative to what she describes as the conventional structured planner approach. In this style of coding, the programmer works without an exhaustive preliminary specification, opting instead for a step-by-step -step growth and re-evaluation process. In her essay Epistemological Pluralism, Turkle writes, the Bricola resembles the painter who stands back between brushstrokes, looks at the canvas, and only after this contemplation, decides what to do next. Business, the visual arts is a field in which individuals often integrate a variety of knowledge sets in order to produce inventive work. To reach this stage, Artists read print materials across a wide array of disciplines, as well as information from their own social identities. For instance, the artist Chirin Shot has integrated her identities as an Iranian exile and a woman in order to make complex, creative and critical bodies of work. This willingness to integrate diverse knowledge sets enables artists with multiple identities to fully leverage their knowledge sets. 
This is demonstrated by Jeffrey Sanchez Burks, Chiang Chen and Fiona Lee, who found that individuals were shown to exhibit greater levels of innovation in tasks related to their cultural identities when they successfully integrated those identities. Carl Weick identifies the following requirements for successful bricolage in organizations. Intimate knowledge of resources, careful observation and listening, trusting one's ideas, self-correcting structures, with feedback, in popular culture, fashion, in his essay Subculture, The Meaning of Style, Dick Hdij discusses how an individual can be identified as a bricola when they appropriated another range of commodities by placing them in a symbolic ensemble which served to erase or subvert their original straight meanings. The fashion industry uses bricolage like styles by incorporating items typically utilized for other purposes. For example, candy wrappers are woven together to produce a purse. The movie Zoolander parodies this concept with Derelict, a line of clothing made from trash. Television MacGyver is a television series in which the protagonist is the paragon of a bricola, creating solutions for the problem to be solved out of immediately available found objects. The Wombles, a children's program based on creatures living in Wimbledon Common, is also a fine example of bricklage. In the theme song composed by Mike Batt, the lyrics include making good use of the things that they find, things that the everyday folk leave behind. iCarly, a Nickelodeon television series, in which Carly's brother, Spencer, is a bricklage artist. See also References External links